And welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. We're joined by the aforementioned Captain Michael Harrington. And when you came to Utica, I think you were a lieutenant, weren't you? Yes, I was. Yeah, now six years, and uh, you're up to a captain with your wife, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So Christmas, the most wonderful time of year, right? I think it's the most wonderful time of the year, <laughs> but there, I'm, I'm sure there's others who don't think that uh, because uh, of the situation they might find themselves in. Uh, and that's where Operation Sunshine, that's where Salvation Army and so many other agencies come in. And I don't know, there's something about the Salvation Army and uh, the bell ringers, Captain, that kind of, uh, it wouldn't be part of Christmas if you didn't see that out there. It's interesting because I have a, this is my sixth Christmas here in uh, Utica and my daughter is six and we'll watch television shows and movies and every now and then you'll see the movie with the bell ringer mm -hmm. in, in the background of the story and it's always neat she's always pointing that out how did it get started how did the salvation army bell campaign get going so a captain in san francisco in the early 1900s uh, just saw a need and was trying to come up with some creative ways to uh, serve the community he wanted to be able to provide a christmas dinner for a, a group of folks who were struggling and uh, he started with um, what's a, uh, a fishing pot on the on the pier and when the the workers would be done working at the end of the day they'd drop a couple coins in and you know, it ended up being successful. He was able to raise some money and uh, provide the meals. And, you know, hence we found something that worked and it spread and it's all through the country now. And uh, the, uh, so this was just for a small group of people and now this has expanded internationally? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh, number of people that uh, do this every year, any idea how many people turn out to ring a bell? Uh, well, we have, uh, approximately 500 plus volunteer hours available a week. So, so we rely uh, heavily on individuals, groups, businesses who just want to partner with us um, to ring the bell. Um, you know, I got a core group of individuals that probably make up the, the vast majority of hours. I got gentlemen who call me when they get home from work they, they captain i could do a couple hours mm -hmm. where do you want me and, and we could send them and it, it's uh just the enthusiasm mm -hmm. and you know they know why they're doing it right so when we ring that bell and you hear the bell that represents all the people we encounter uh who whether they're calling us or coming in or making an online request uh people in crisis just needing help and uh, that's what the bell ringing represents. It's an opportunity for people to give back by volunteering or even donating a little bit of change. You like to have people do uh, a minimum shift of two hours? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So we try to schedule everything in two hours because it is a very cold climate up here. And this year it's been, a, I'd say, unseasonably cold this year, wet and windy. and. Uh, so it, you know, when you're standing outside, two hours is almost the limit. You know, I think that's not a bad thing in a way, and I'll tell you why I think that. Uh, I was somewhere ringing the bell one year, and it was one of those miserable nights, and I find that people give more when they see you out there ringing a bell and uh, uh, freezing to death, you know? That's right. They'll, sometimes they even walk by and hand you a cup of coffee. Uh, that, that's yeah. happened to me as and well. There, there's only so, many, so much coffee you could drink in yeah. a day, though, yeah. right? The uh, places that you are at this year, I know you've gone, uh, Walmart has been a, a good one for you, uh, Price yeah. Chopper, uh, what are the, some of the other ones? Yeah, so we partner with uh, Shenantry's, um, Herb Phillipson's, um, yeah, like you said, the Price Choppers, the Walmarts, uh, Hobby Lobby's another good one, and then mm -hmm. we have Macy's, J.C. Penney's, and Bosco's. You're limited though, are you not, Captain, by the number, I mean, you can get more spots for people to ring the bell, you just need the people. Well, that's our uh, always our dilemma. So mm -hmm. I can have up to 20 locations open and available, but I can only have them if I have the volunteers. And this year has been a, a struggle for us uh, to meet that. Um, we're actually behind in our goal. Uh, we set a goal of $100,000, and right now going into the last week, we are about $50,000 short. Mm -hmm. And it's just been a challenge to, to man all the stations. And that's always our dilemma. And I, I think the, the cold this year might have uh, 
played a little role in that. Is there a way for people, two questions. One, is there a way for people to donate electronically? Yes, so we have uh, on a website, you could donate on our Facebook page. Um, we also have an online kettle going, so if you, you don't want to be in the cold, you could right from the comfort of your home, you could give at uh, Give Salvation Army USA Team Utica, and you, you can give that way as well. The, uh, can somebody uh, set up uh, their own red kettle online? Absolutely. So um, on that same site, I just give Salvation Army USA Team Utica. Uh, you can also become a virtual bell ringer as well. So you could uh, set up uh, your account. You'd be part of Team Utica. Um, you'd be able to email your contacts, post on social media, and set a goal and try to make that goal. Is that catching on? Uh, it, it's a little. It's a little difficult. Um, we we did really well. Um, we also partner with the Boilermaker, and we did over our goal for the Boilermaker. We've been a little slow for Christmas, but uh, you know it, it's an opportunity for people after Christmas. And if they didn't have an opportunity to give, this site is still open, and they're able to give there. Well, that anticipated my uh, next question. Does it stop on uh, Christmas Day, or can people keep contributing? No. So, so we're looking for donations year round. Um, you know, after a, a season like this, where we set a goal of a hundred thousand every year after Christmas, uh, we have to reevaluate where we stand um, budget wise. So, you know, because we can only do what we can only serve what we we get in. So. Um, our, our programs rely on this, not only for holiday assistance, but to meet the need of our clients year round. Let's uh, talk about the Salvation Army in Utica. You, there's two Salvation Armies. Sometimes people get confused which is which, but you have one down on Columbia Street, but that is Salvation Army, but it's really different from Clinton Place where you are. Yeah, so we have the thrift store, which is downtown um, yeah, on Columbia Place. And um, that's where you could donate clothing and furniture and also purchase items, uh, secondhand items for a discounted price. And um, they, they're run, ran from a different command head. And it's really awesome what they do with that income and the giving through there. So they're able to um, uh, have adult rehabilitation centers where they're actually, they take men and women who are addicted to drugs and alcohol and provide them cost-free care and counseling. So when you sign up, if you have an issue, one of those issues or a family member, they can enter into our adult rehabilitation center. They don't have to bring any money. They don't have to have any insurance. They just show up with a willingness to try to make a change. And uh, they, they're provided food, clothes, counseling, and et cetera. And on Clinton Place, uh, you do, uh, well, you've got a, a nice facility up there. You've got a gymnasium, you've got uh, a church, uh, uh, you've got your offices. Uh, talk about the services that are in a kitchen, big kitchen. Yes. Talk about the services that are offered up there. So the Salvation Army is a unique human service organization because we are a church first. So, so we kind of take a different view of, we believe that, you know, we want to serve the community, we want to love them, and we also uh, have a mission to, to preach the gospel as well because we believe that's where real change comes, transforming power. And we have a soup kitchen and a food pantry. Uh, both those programs combined are looking to serve about 70,000 meals this year. And then we have uh, some character building programs for some young people, uh, music and arts, where we have um, uh, a gentleman come once a week and he teaches our young people how to play brass instruments and uh, so they're in a music and arts program and then we have youth basketball as well and so we're doing youth sports as well for teenagers so we have a lot of opportunity for young people just to come in uh, a place they could be safe a place they could get a snack after school have a dinner 
um, and just, you know, work on their gifts and talents and, and just let their guard down and breathe. And you don't have to be, uh, you don't have to join the Salvation Army, you don't have to join the church to come up and avail yourself of this, do you? No, you don't. So, so we, we don't discriminate in any way. We treat everybody equal, uh, no matter who you are, where you come from, what your need is. We're just there to, to represent uh, in love and care and, and and just to, to get to know everybody who comes in on a personal level and just see how we can help. Mm. And on uh, Sunday, when do you do your services on Sunday? So we have uh, Sunday school begins at 10 and then we got um, holiness meeting at 11. Mm -hmm. So adults are never too old for Sunday school, remember that. I'll remember that. <laughs> do you preach? Yes, we do, me Good. and my wife. Good, Both and uh, real quickly, the uh, way people can uh, contact you if they want to ring the bell? So you can call us um, or contact us on our, our website, um, but to call us is 315-724-8736. Okay, good. Well, good luck. I know you're off to not as good as far along as you want to be, but maybe it can be pulled out well, at the end here. We'll see what God's going to do, right? Good. Thanks, Captain. That's going to do it for us this week. We'll be back next week. Take care of yourself, everybody.